Hey guys, welcome to another short video going through some of the features of UPDF. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to password protect your PDF file on Windows. I'm going to be explaining to you how to lock your PDF with a password, as well as set certain permissions when sharing with a password. Okay guys, we're going to start off by opening our sample PDF here, and we're going to try and test out adding password protection to our PDF. If you go to the right side toolbar, you have the option to protect using a password. You click on that option, and you have the option to do document open, which means you add a password to even open the document. Specific permissions in case you want to share this document, but you want to restrict editing, printing, or whatever it may be. Remove security, that's if you've already added a password, and just some security properties. So let's click on document open. And here you've got the access to permissions from here as well, in case you want to change your mind. So from document open, you add a password. Let's say we're going to do one, two, three, four. This eye icon shows you your password in case you want to see it. You confirm your password again. Again, you could show the password. And if you click on more options, it shows you the encryption level. On this, the higher the encryption level, the harder it is to actually hack this document and open it. So obviously, if you're on 256 bit, that will be harder to access, but it will probably be a bit slightly slower to open the document. Now, if you click on permissions, again, same thing, you add your password if you want. And once you've added your password under options, you have the option to allow printing. Maybe you only want to allow low resolution printing. High resolution means just allowing the person to print it or not allowed at all. In the changes, maybe you want to allow only inserting, deleting and rotating pages. This means I can delete a few pages, add more pages to the document, or I want to rotate some pages to suit my own needs. Here, maybe it's only for filling uh, fields or signing existing signature fields. That's for maybe contracts or whatever it may be. And here allows you to add comments as well, filling in fields and again, signing existing fields. The last but not least is any except extracting pages, it means it allows all of these above with the exception of extracting the pages. Now, if you tick this box here, which is quite important, it says enable copying of text images and other content. If you do not tick this box, this means when the person hovers their, course, uh, their cursor over the text, they cannot highlight, they cannot copy any of the text, which is good in case you don't want anyone copying your work. And again, encryption level, the higher, the more difficult it is to hack the document. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this.